Good afternoon, gang. John again with Rock County Jet Ski, Watcon.com. Welcome to Watercraft Talk. Today, um, I wanted to show you, and first I'm going to apologize, I've got a couple of skis that are literally barn finds. Um, due to some certain reasons, we were not able to bring Chris along and film me getting them uh, the other day, but I did get them. We've got them back here at the shop, and I promise I haven't even looked at them. Um, the story is that the guy came by the shop last week, uh, unfortunately, he moved here uh, he's from Washington, and he moved here about 15 years ago, n brought the skis, put them in a storage locker, and never touched them again since. Um, and unfortunately, didn't know that we were here, and now, uh, as moving away, um, needed to get them out of the storage locker right away, and, and uh, he's going to Florida, and he did not want to take the skis with him. So, um, we got them. We're going to rescue them. We'll give them a quick look over here and an assessment uh, maybe we'll try to fire them up and do a compression check or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, like I say, I really don't. I was in and out of there so quick the other day, I didn't even hardly look at them at all. Um, they are period correct. Uh, the one is a 1995 Kawasaki SXI uh, 750 that he bought new at the time. He worked at a dealership in the service department and he ordered this and bought it new. It's got some vintage, cool, period correct stuff on it. Um, the other one is a 1990 Superjet uh, that he says is a 701, um, and we'll look at that. It's got some vintage cool parts on it too. Um, again, we'll check them out. We'll, we'll do a follow-up video. Uh, my intentions are I think we're going to build them, and we'll, we'll do a follow-up video with that. Uh, I'd like to do a full restoration on each and, and go through them and see what we got. But let's go outside here, Chris, and oh, here, check this out. We got a box. Let's look through this. We got a box of, box of parts um, that came with it. That is uh, old school pad, hood pad. We've got a, a dry suit, old slippery ninja hat. Um, that's original Kawasaki shin guard. That would be a cover for something, I'm guessing the Kawasaki. Got an assortment box of parts here, random Kawasaki stuff. That might be a scoop grate for a super jet. I'll have to look at that. Jet line. Looks to be a copy of an early Fisher. Just kind of some miscellaneous junk. We'll go through that later and see what we have with that. Ninja hat's kind of cool. Maybe we should wear that. So what we have here is a 1990 Yamaha Superjet. Um, just at first glance, we got aftermarket bars on it. It has an early plastic uh, finger throttle on it that is dry rotting and cracking. It's got an old um, aluminum handle pole. It's very cool. Uh, I don't even remember if that's UMI was open on the bottom like that or MMF. I don't recall. That is that is old and early. Um, at the back here, Chris, we've got a quadrafin ride plate. I'm gonna grab a flashlight. Here somewhere. We'll get right down on this and see what we got underneath here. Okay, an old, deep West Coast scoop grate, open scoop grate, and it appears to be a soulless impeller of some sort. Uh, yeah, cool. It's all in good shape. Bottom of the hull appears to be pretty good. Not your normal wear and tear, but nothing I'm afraid of. Original plastic pump shoe. Ugh. I'm getting too old for this.
That pump's full of rat's nest and mud and crap, but it looks good otherwise. Stock cooling, single line cooling, stock plastic exit nozzle. Even the original suction bilge is still hooked up. This is kind of cool. We've got the original fire extinguisher holder. A lot of times on these old squares, those are long gone. Ugh. So this is pretty crusty. We do have, we've got a very early version factory pipe. That is cool. Uh, it does not have the center cooling screw. I believe this, I'm thinking that's probably a 650 chamber. It is a 61X cylinder, but it is actually a 650 bottom end. Huh. That was a popular mod back in the early, early, early days. I guess you put a 701 top end on a 650. I personally never did that. We've always been swapping everything to 701s. Um, old, old, old corroded West Coast head. Probably won't run that. Everything else appears to be pretty stock. Rats, nests, corrosion. It's pretty ugly. Stock carb, original flame arrester. But it's all here. Let me just reach in here, Chris, and see. Oh. Toolkit. Sweet. Spark plugs. Yeah, the motor's locked up. There's no sense putting a battery in this one. She's done. So, we'll have to, uh, this one's got to come apart right away, or before we can do anything with it, I guess. We must have a bilge pump in it. Yeah, here's a switch. Okay, we got a bilge, bilge outlet, dual pissers is interesting. One is just hooked up. Yeah. Okay. Single cooling coming in though. All right. Well, there's that. 1990 Superjet. We'll give it some love. Microphone's falling off. <clears throat> Let's look at the Cowie. So here we have a 1995 SXI 750. Kind of the same. We've got a plastic throttle, billet build switch on this, aftermarket bars with the stock handlebar pad put back on. Again, an early old school aluminum handle pole. Very cool. Homemade whole limit rope. So this one, upon, let's look at the back of this. This one we've got a, a West Coast, or no, that's, I'm sorry, Ocean Pro Ocean Plate. That's a good plate. Here's from the back, it's a scat track impeller. Everything topside here is stock otherwise. Let me get underneath this one. Uh, we have a West Coast top loader. Great on this, in very good condition. And it is a scat track straight blade, probably a 917 I would guess was the impeller of choice back in the day. Uh, it is definitely a scat track impeller. Good stuff. He was concerned about the bottom of this one. I don't see any major damage. It's hard to tell on the trailer with the bunks in the way, but I, I got nothing here. 
we'll get it on a stand and assess it better when we start taking it apart. Engine wise, yeah, I got a tiny tack on it. This one, he said, oh. This one, he sent the engine off uh, to Harry at Group K um, and had it, he said, fully ported. So just upon looking, I see it's got a green cylinder. So this is a 95, it'd be a gray engine. Um, and 95 was the worst port timing that Kawasaki had on, on their skis, on, or on the 750s. So this one's got a green engine, which, or a green cylinder, which would be 96 or later. Um, interesting, we've got some really cool, I haven't seen, I don't remember these, some thumb screws on the, on the stock key and carburetors, West Coast head, stock pipe, uh, I don't know if this is your lunch in here, maybe, a sandwich? Nope, tools, treasure, awesome. This has got a bilge pump. There's another tether down in here. Okay. Stock key and carbs, which would be 95, correct. Um, vortex flame arresters. This is all, again, very much, very popular modifications and things done in the mid 90s. This one's pretty ugly too. Let me just give this a reach. This has got a battery in it. Yeah, no, that motor ain't turning either. They're both locked up. So I'm sorry, we're not gonna get a, I wanted to kind of give them a fire and see if we couldn't get a pop out of them, but they're not gonna pop. And it's okay, we, we basically got them as non-running. He knew we didn't storm correctly and he knew it was gonna need everything. Uh, registration on this one says 2002 Delaware, I guess 2004 expires. So uh, they've been sitting for a long, long time and he did admit that he did not put them up properly. So cool, good stuff. There you have it, a couple of fresh barn finds. Um, keep an eye out in the future. We'll do some build videos on these possibly. It's going to take me a little while to get to them. I've got, we are stacked up this year. It is, it is September currently in the jet ski shop and I am booked out all winter long uh, for builds and things. So for now, I'm going to just put these out to our storage unit and as we have time, we'll get to them unless when you guys wants to come and take on a project yourself, I'd, we'd be willing to sell them as is. Um, but hopefully we can get to them and we'll, uh, We'll post videos and, and, and do an update as we do. Uh, I hope you like that. Please keep the comments coming. We sure appreciate you reaching out to us. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and, and make sure to hit that bell so you get notifications. Please like, tag, share, and follow. And most importantly, be nice to each other. That's it for today. Here's our walk around video of our Barn Find 750SX and Superjet. Next time, we'll see you out on the water.